begin tonight with the most sweeping decision on abortion in a generation. Today, the Supreme Court struck down a Texas law that imposed strict requirements on clinics and doctors, finding those limits place an undue burden on the constitutional right to abortion. And on the steps of the Supreme Court, you see it there, activists squared off, jubilation from the pro-choice side, but despair from anti-abortion forces, because this ruling could affect so much of the country. At least two dozen states have passed laws similar to those struck down today. ABC's Mary Bruce is in Washington with a dramatic decision and its resounding consequences. At the Supreme Court today, chants of victory from abortion rights advocates. Abortion care won't go away, we fought for it, it's here to stay. The crowd cheering as interns raced out, carrying the most consequential abortion decision in a quarter of a century. Many of these people have been here since before dawn, making sure they were here to witness this historic decision. The court striking down a Texas law that required abortion providers have admitting privileges at a nearby hospital and that clinics meet standards for surgical centers. Requirements that have already forced more than half of Texas abortion clinics to close and threatened half of those still open. In a 5-3 decision, Justice Kennedy, the swing vote, joined the court's four liberals to rule that the restrictions went too far and placed an undue burden on the constitutional right to an abortion. We are the pro-life generation! Disappointed, the law's supporters say women's health will now be at risk. This means every time a woman walks into an abortion facility in our nation, she's going to have to wonder, will I be coming out alive? The implications stretch far beyond Texas. About two dozen states have similar laws. Many states have restrictions like Texas's, and uh, I think those are quite likely unconstitutional after today's ruling. And the decision could call into question many other restrictions, such as a required waiting period, counseling, and ultrasounds before abortion. And Mary joins us from the Supreme Court right now. Mary, you know, the future of the Supreme Court right at the heart of the presidential campaign. You've got that vacancy left by the death of Justice Scalia and perhaps more to come. Yet yeah, this decision underscores what's at stake in this election. Clinton tweeting today, this fight isn't over. The next president has to protect women's rights. And Donald Trump has been noticeably absent from commenting on today's ruling. Yeah, George. uncharacteristic silence. Okay, Mary, thanks very much.